There's something soothing and calming, and in my opinion, just healing, being in the water. But when she's back on land, life for Ashley Thomas is considerably more stressful. I was born with spina bifida. I cannot get my boat off my van. It is an impossibility. My hands over my head, trying to get it off, and I would break the boat. We'd both go toppling down. So um, I am very much dependent on someone else being here to get the boat off get it down to the water. And as a Paralympic athlete, that poses a problem to Ashley's all-important training regimen. Having to work within other schedules limits her time on the water. I've had a lot of people helping me meet out here, but I don't have the freedom to just to come out and row and practice. With their drills and hacksaws humming away, Jason Wright and Stamp Walden are working to get Ashley on the water and training on her own terms. She's really motivated and she wants to be active. They may be taking on a real world challenge, but Jason and Stamp are still college students. They're part of the biomedical engineering program at UNC Chapel Hill. The final version will allow our client to stay seated in her wheelchair while removing the kayak from her roof with minimal effort put onto a cart. She will then seat herself onto the cart that we've built and get down to the lake. While Stamp and Jason are forming and fashioning the new equipment for Ashley, their classmates are also hard at work under the watchful eye of Dr. Richard Goldberg. I teach a class in which students develop custom technology for people with disabilities. We had seven students doing four projects, recreational, school-based, workplace, and as well as home-based. The students spend the entire semester meeting with the people they're serving and designing the devices to help them. They have uh, cognitive disabilities or some sort of physical limitations that either slow down the task or allow them to not be able to perform it at all. So Farad Sawafta and Morgan Leeds are assembling two new apparatuses, a rotating tape cutter and a form for folding boxes. Just push it in. Hold one part at a time. Both devices are designed to help disabled workers improve their productivity and self-confidence. The same kinds of goals Kylie Boyce and Amika George are working to achieve. We have a client who is in third grade and he has autism and also um, visual impairment. This has caused him to have um, posture problems and trying to see um, his activities at school. To meet those challenges, Kylie and Amika are working on a stand that magnifies books and paper and raises them closer to the boy's eyes. To be able to see how our degree that we've worked for four years to get actually helps people mm -hmm. is incredible because that's why I went into biomedical engineering. The devices are hardly created all at once. There are plenty of modifications so the that come along the way. Should come completely off. I think our razor is a little crooked, but we'll realign it. In many cases, the students are putting in as many as 60 hours a week on perfecting all the parts and pieces. Every engineering program in the country has a senior design requirement. In most cases, at the end of the semester, they take apart the project and it goes back on the shelves or gets thrown away. So the fact that these projects are going to be used by real people for their everyday lives is unique. After months of hard work, it's time to put the finished products on display. You just tighten all of the knobs. Amika and Kylie are giving their third grade client a new reading stand that's already having an important impact. We recently talked to the teacher and she was saying how much this is really going to help him. She said that we get more work out of him in our weekly half hour visits than she gets out of him the entire rest of the day. So it's just really exciting that it's going to help him so much. Farad and Morgan are also presenting their products, which their client used with ease. It was really rewarding because after he would do it, he'd just get really excited and yell, like, I'm the man, this is really great, I'm the man, this is easy. And before he would get frustrated, it would take him a long time. It's a really good feeling. It's um, nice to be able to create something that somebody will use on a daily basis in their own life that will help them significantly. It's a gift of access is what it is. It means I can be on the water four times a week and I can work with my schedule. With Stamp and Jason checking out her every move, Ashley is putting her re-engineered roof rack and cart to the test. Their modifications lower the rack another 18 inches. I like the fact that I could get it into the cart and get it down to the water and I could get it in the water. It worked well enough to where she is able to now go out there and be able to practice by herself and have a good time with it. It means a lot. The gift of access Ashley's now enjoying is something Stamp Walden understands more than most. I lost my leg in a boating accident. Now it's been four and a half years ago. And that had a, a big impact on 
Uh, joining the BME program here, thanks to the engineers and the process, they were able to help make it perfect for me. That's something that I'll be able to relate with the client. They want it perfect. Dr. Richard Goldberg hopes to expand the program to make adaptive devices for an even larger group of people, but he's plenty pleased already. It's a win-win process, so seeing the gratification in both the students and in the clients whom we work with at the end of the semester is really icing on the cake for me, and that's what makes it all worthwhile.